Breaking news, Ryan Garcia has officially rejected a mental evaluation unless Devin the Dream Haney takes one as well. You want it, you got it. Rumble, young man, rumble. Push the goddamn button. You think I'm doing this for money? You think I'm doing this for my fight? No, they're literally trying to do a mental evaluation on me for speaking against I literally Boom. You heard that? You think I'm doing this for money? You think I'm doing this for my fight? No, they're literally trying to do a mental evaluation on me for speaking against I literally told him, what's your premises for this? Does, is, does Devin Haney need uh, a mental evaluation? Okay, then. That's what I thought. If you can't provide me. That's by far one of the most incoherent, dumb premises that I've heard. Does Devin Haney need one? The reason this makes no sense is because you are the person with the out of nowhere, random, at times weird, peculiar, bizarre, shocking claims, chaotic behavior, and erratic behavior. So why would Devin Haney need a mental evaluation? Nobody, and I mean nobody, absolutely nobody, has called for that. However, based on Ryan Garcia and some of the things he's saying, like, are there atrocities committed against children? Absolutely. But that, I mean, you didn't need Ryan Garcia to tell you that, right? But as far as the other things he's saying, like having proof of this and proof of time travel and aliens, that's why people are saying what you're saying is not making any sense. But let Ryan keep going. You think I'm doing this for money? You think I'm doing this for my fight? No, they're literally trying to do a mental evaluation on me for speaking against I literally told him, what's your premises for this? Does, is, does Devin Haney need uh, a mental evaluation? Okay, then. That's what I thought. If you can't provide me uh, a, a premise on why I need a, a mental evaluation, then uh, f I'm not doing it. I got freedom of speech. People have said worse things than me. And I'm, so, I'm, I'm trying to help children. And everybody who's saying I'm a loon, I'm not telling the truth, blah, blah, blah. You guys are working for the devil, 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 devil. Can you guys get on everybody's head who's saying I need help? Can you guys just be like devil, 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 devil? Devil worshiper, devil worshiper, devil worshiper. Yes, I'm working with Tim Ballard and the, the community of Sound of Freedom. They put out the first big documentary on what they're doing to children. So if you think I'm actually lying, you guys are crazy. Look at guys. God says, be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. Everybody's like, release it, release it. I can't be dumb, guys. I, I'm literally working with the highest politicians in Congress to take these people. I have literally kids telling me the stories that they went through. And with that being said, I still fall. I still fell. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I, I'm still, I still sin. Wow. Still to ever, this day. Listen. Have, you said you fought, but like, have you ever done like a 2v1 before? Who's was you talking about fighting? Yeah, like a 2v1. Like what I'm doing on March 23rd on Misfits. He's talking like about like 2v1. Misfits stuff. Like yeah, like I'm doing a 2v1. Like a 2v1, exactly. Like I'm doing a 2v1. I will literally fight um, on March 23rd. It? I would fight Ryan's literally. Would you? But would you, I mean, would you I would fight, fight Dean the I would fight Dean the Great and uh, the one that but, he knocked out. I will at the same nah, time. But, but I get I get you, but like he's fighting Devin Haney and he's saying that he would do a two versus one similar to KSI's The Misfits. But earlier today, Ryan Garcia dissed KSI and Logan Paul. The video's up on the channel and the drink that Logan Paul and KSI have called Prime. Weird. I like I'm fighting a two v one. Like that's the first never been done in boxing before. Even you, with the greatest champions of all time, have never done a two v one. Bro, he's well, elite. He's like an. I'm actual, making, I'm like, making history though. I'm making history though. I, I I love your confidence, bro. Bro, chase your dreams. But like, do you see the pin tweet, bro? Like Ryan, look at that pin tweet, bro. Look at my face in that flyer, bro. I look handsome, bro. Misfits boxing must be fun. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, I am. I ain't knocking your hustle, bro. We're, but we're live on the zone, Ryan. We're both hey, on the hey, zone, Ryan. I'm with you, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. hey, Ryan, I'm your peer, bro. We're both, we're, both, we're, both, we're both headlining the zone cards. We're peers, bro. You're my peer. <laughs> I love this dude. All right, bro. Let, let, me continue. let me continue what I was saying. This is some real stuff, bro. It needs right, to be go respected. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, G. All right, B Dave, what's up? Yeah, fuck my one, man. I think he's done. Oh. Wow. Dave is this is from an earlier oh Ryan of Spaces. Ryan, can I ask a quick question? Is that right? Yeah, for sure. Ryan, has the uh, US sanctioning board um, been in contact with you at all, like maybe for like a mental evaluation? It's not me oh. taking a piss. It's like a genuine oh, question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They did. And guess what I told them? As long as Devin Haney does it um, and 
uh, what is your premises for my mental evaluation? Right. And um, there's no way I'm going to do it because I'm not mentally ill and I feel actually you're demeaning me as a person, as a human, and my free speech. Wow. See, Ryan Garcia just told you there was a question from somebody in the X spaces and they said, have you been, has anyone requested a, a psyche, you know, a, a psychological evaluation, a mental evaluation on you? He admits that they have. But he says, why are you asking for it? Again, back to Devin Haney. Devin Haney's not acting, quote unquote, bizarre. Devin Haney's not like acting and posting clips as if he got kidnapped and putting 666 and, you know, pretending that like faking his MDK. Right. So why would they be asking for it? Like, it doesn't make sense. It's like. If you get stopped by the police for speeding and then they smell alcohol on you and then they say step out the car we need to conduct the breathalyzer test you can't be like oh what about that car just passed by and you didn't ask them for a breathalyzer test one they're not speeding two there's no probable cause or there's no smell there's no reason to stop that car and they don't smell like booze you see what i'm saying like Ryan Garcia, what he's saying is not really making sense. Why on earth would Devin Haney need a psyche, you know, a, a psychiatrist or psychologist evaluate him when he's not acting what anyone would consider bizarre? Real stuff, bro. We need All right, to be go respected. ahead, go ahead, go ahead, G. All right, B-Dave, what's up? Yeah, full commercial one, man. I think he's done. Oh. B-Dave is requesting. He's not. I got it. I asked him. him up. Ryan, no, can sorry. I ask a quick question? Is that right? Yeah, for sure. Ryan, has the uh, US sanctioning board um, been in contact with you at all, like maybe for like a mental evaluation? It's not me oh. taking a piss. It's like a genuine oh, question. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. And guess what I told them? As long as Devin Haney does it, um, and uh, what is your premises for my mental evaluation? Right. And um, there's no way I'm going to do it because I'm not mentally ill and I feel actually you're demeaning me as a person, as a human and my free speech. Right. So okay. there's no way I'm going to do it. You could kiss my butt. That's what I said. And and uh, sorry, second question. And, Obviously, and, 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 and go on. there's a lot of there's there's a lot of reasons why I feel that it's demeaning me. Um, why are they making me do it and, and not Devin? That's kind of weird. Okay, and secondly, obviously, we know DAZN has a sort of corporate image um, to protect. Has anyone from DAZN been in contact about maybe your social Listen media? up. No, no, not at all. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm the athlete. You know, they need me. I don't need them. I love DAZN. I mean, I, I, I was one of their biggest advocates. Ryan says they need me. I don't need them. But without them, you have no actual home or platform. So I think you guys need each other because as a fighter, you're not staging your own events. You're signed to Golden Boy. So you still need a home to fight even as the talent, as the athlete. It's, I've been supporting them for a while now. I've never even had my own deal with them, like Canelo, which I probably should have already had one. But I again, I respect them. They respect me. I don't think they're going to tell me to be quiet. I mean, other boxers have said really racist things and they never check them. Like Devin Haney saying, he'll oh, never lose. they'll never lose to a white boy. Just being very like racist. But um, that's OK, I guess. But me saying that let's stop the pedophiles from hurting little children is a uh, deem for mental evaluation. I mean, I think they need a mental evaluation if they think I need to stop speaking. But I don't think it's just. The, the cause you say you're standing for, it's the bizarre, erratic behavior as a whole. It's like out of nowhere, you're on this new plight and crusade, you're acting weird, your voice was hoarse for weeks, your facial, like, none of this stuff that I'm saying is a mystery or rocket science. When Ryan's talking, he's like, he keeps like making these, like almost like he has tics. And, and saying, oh, they did this to Kanye West and doing spaces with Andrew Tate and saying these things. 
I think this is why people are concerned. It's not just the cause you say you're standing up for. Lastly, what is your prediction for this fight? If his dad doesn't stop the fight, it could end up really bad for Devin. Like, Go on. round, like, like, round prediction. Just... No, no, no. That God's will be done, not mine. Just know. That God's will be done, not mine. It's frustrating, guys. It's frustrating because not only am I looking great in boxing, they're so mad that I have time to expose them. <laughs> that, like, you know how many phone calls a day I get of people saying, can you just be quiet for a so Ryan says that he's looking good in boxing. Training clips have now hit the internet. If you guys want me to review some of the training clips, put Ryan Garcia training in the comments. And if enough people leave that comment that says Ryan Garcia training, Ego will make a future video about that. So stay tuned and subscribe. So he's saying that people are mad because he's exposing the elites or whatever. And he's looking good in boxing all at the same time. Not mine. Just know that God's will be done, not mine. It's frustrating, guys. It's frustrating because not only am I looking great in boxing, they're so mad that I have time to expose them. <laughs> that, like, you know how many phone calls a day I get of people saying, can you just be quiet for a second? Just a second. I was like, uh, was it your, like, if it was your kid that got, would you be quiet? No, you wouldn't. We have a real story. We have all this to get. We have all the proof. Would you be quiet? You, you guys are literally, you guys have issues. The ones that are just like trying to act like it's not happening. Dog, let's just go to regular life. Of course I have a kid. That's why I'm so mad. Thank you. Hashtag Ryan Garcia's life matter. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Yes, life isn't regular anymore. It's up now. It's up. Remember, Jesus is coming back not as the sacrificial lamb. He's coming back as a roaring lion with blood on his robe from all the enemies he slayed. It ain't no game time no more. What was that? What was that? You see Ryan Garcia? It's clearly, there's somebody like he's saying things. And then you see right there. Right there. As he's saying stuff, it's like he's looking up for approval. Like you're on instagram live social media and then you like randomly are looking up somebody's like motioning or read it you're reading cue cards something that was weird watch i'm gonna take it back i'm gonna take it back for you guys that's weird well like why why are you and he i, I noticed this throughout this live he's motioning or looking up to somebody who's clearly off camera watch again kid that's why i'm so mad Thank you. Hashtag Ron Garcia's life matter. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Yes, life isn't regular anymore. It's up now. It's up. Remember, Jesus is coming back not, not as the sacrificial lamb. He's coming back as a roaring lion with blood on his robe from all the enemies. He what was that? Once again. Lion. Right after the lion. With blood on his robe from all, all the enemies. Man, right there. Boom. Really weird. Very shifty. And Ryan's like, oh, why are people saying I'm tripping? But you're acting shifty. These aren't good signs, people. You guys. Yes, life isn't regular anymore. It's up now. It's up. Remember, Jesus is coming back not as the sacrificial lamb. He's coming back as a roaring lion. With blood on his robe from all the enemies he slayed. It ain't no game time no more. It ain't no, you know, maybe we'll let him go. You know, we'll pray for him. You can't pray for these dudes. Oh, I bet they wish I could stop. <laughs> you know why? They're, you know why I'm so dangerous? Because no matter what, they're going to have to create AI things. They're going to have to lie on my name. They're going to have to really try to dig as deep as they can to find something on me. And you ain't going to find nothing because I've been living a good life. I haven't. You won't find no weird stuff on me. Please, by all means, go look. Make some shit up. Please. I'm going to debunk that too. Debunk it. Probably, yeah, prime sponsor for human growth. I'm dead. Facts. You think I'm doing this for money? 
You think I'm doing this for my? He did it again where he looked up. He looked up at the end. See? What is he doing with his nose? Bro, look. Why is he acting shifty and like, look, look at it. And then, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Ryan. If that's normal behavior, because I know the conspiracy theorists, they're eating this up and they're like, Ryan, you're encouraging this behavior. To me, it looks like something is going on truly with Ryan Garcia. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a manic episode or is Ryan Garcia cooking? Subscribe. I will be covering this. This is just the latest in boxing. And it's like I told you at the beginning, at the start of this, this is, I don't think it's going to end pretty. And stay tuned. You never know what's going to happen at this point. This is very combustible.